Hello and welcome to the Minimum Competence episode for Monday, March 25th, 2024. I'm your host for today, Andrew Leahy, a tax and technology attorney from New Jersey. On today's episode, we have Trump's race against time to pay a $454 million judgment or face New York property seizure, TikTok's free speech defense against a U.S. ban, and Terraform Labs' SEC trial after a $40 billion crypto collapse. Let's remember, you can think of Mondays as an opportunity for new beginnings you are presented with 52 times per year. You can think of them that way, but never voice it, or you'll be friendless and alone by the first Tuesday. And then also, let's read today's legal news. On March 25th, 1807, a pivotal moment in legal history occurred with the passage of a British bill that effectively abolished the transatlantic slave trade. This landmark legislation, known as the Abolition of the Slave Trade Act, marked a significant victory for the abolitionist movement, which had long campaigned against the inhumane practice of trafficking enslaved individuals. Spearheaded by figures such as William Wilberforce and Thomas Clarkson, the act reflected growing societal awareness of the moral and ethical implications of slavery. Despite resistance from vested interests and economic concerns, the abolitionist movement succeeded in securing the passage of this transformative law, which prohibited British subjects from participating in the buying or selling of enslaved people. The enactment of the Abolition Act not only set a precedent for international efforts to combat slavery, but also fueled momentum for broader emancipation movements worldwide. However, it's crucial to note that while the act abolished the trade in slaves, it did not immediately abolish slavery itself within the British Empire. Nonetheless, this pivotal legislation laid the groundwork for subsequent legal reforms aimed at eradicating the institution of slavery altogether. The passage of the abolition of the Slave Trade Act stands as a testament to the power of legal action in advancing social justice and human rights, leaving an indelible mark on legal history and reshaping the trajectory of abolitionist movements for generations to come. However, it also reflects the half measures and overall slow pace of change in expanding human rights that plagued the 19th century in a way that resonates to this day. Donald Trump faces a pressing deadline with just hours remaining to cover a staggering $454 million civil fraud judgment or risk the seizure of some of his prime properties in New York. The judgment, issued by Justice Arthur N. Gorin on February 16th, accuses Trump of manipulating his net worth and property values to deceive lenders and insurers. Despite Trump's vocal denials and claims of innocence, the judgment poses a significant threat to his public image as a successful businessman, particularly as he seeks to secure the presidency once more. The looming financial challenges extend beyond this case, with Trump's campaign financing lagging behind his political rivals. The potential seizure targets iconic Trump properties such as Trump Tower and 40 Wall Street, as well as assets in Westchester County, including a golf course and a sprawling estate. Trump's legal team faces hurdles in securing a bond to cover the judgment, with 30 surety companies reportedly rejecting their requests. Meanwhile, Trump's financial woes are compounded by other legal battles, including criminal charges and defamation lawsuits. Despite recent developments, such as investor approval for a $5.7 billion deal involving his Truth Social platform, uncertainties remain regarding Trump's ability to meet his financial obligations. The civil fraud case, along with other legal challenges, continues to strain Trump's finances and raises questions about his future prospects in politics. If Congress compels ByteDance Limited to sell TikTok Inc. under threat of a U.S. ban, the social media giant is likely to invoke First Amendment arguments mirroring successful defenses in Montana. This potential lawsuit would confront free speech concerns against federal authority to restrict a foreign-owned platform used by over 150 million Americans. TikTok, armed with strong legal arguments, asserts its right to operate a speech-hosting platform, with users similarly contending that a ban infringes on their expression rights. A recent federal court ruling in Montana blocking a state ban on TikTok underscores the First Amendment challenges such legislation faces. Despite bipartisan support in the House, the bill mandating divestiture faces Senate uncertainty. While President Biden is inclined to sign, TikTok intends to exhaust legal options before considering divestiture. The debate highlights the clash between national security concerns and free speech rights, with lawmakers emphasizing China's potential data access and influence through TikTok. However, First Amendment experts argue that even legitimate national security concerns must withstand free speech scrutiny. Past legal precedents, including cases involving foreign ownership and speech restrictions, inform the ongoing debate over TikTok's fate. Terraform Labs and its founder, Du Quan, are embroiled in a legal battle in Manhattan facing charges from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for allegedly deceiving investors prior to the 2022 collapse of two cryptocurrencies. The SEC accuses them of misrepresenting the stability of TerraUSD and making unfounded claims about the use of Terraform's blockchain in a mobile payment app in Korea. Quan, who is the brain behind TerraUSD and Luna, is under arrest in Montenegro, pending extradition to South Korea, following the $40 billion debacle caused when TerraUSD lost its peg to the U.S. dollar. The SEC's lawsuit further alleges that Quan and Terraform's labs manipulated TerraUSD's price through third-party purchases to falsely showcase the algorithm's effectiveness. 
Despite these serious allegations, Quan and his company refute any misconduct, claiming their statements have been misinterpreted by the SEC. A partial victory for the SEC came in December when Judge Jed Rakoff ruled in its favor, albeit dismissing some charges related to security-based swaps. The determination of damages against Terraform, which declared bankruptcy in January, remains pending, with the potential to exceed the company's current assets. And with that, I thank you so much for listening to Minimum Competence, your daily news podcast for lawyers. If you're looking for more than Minimum Competence, links to further reading on all the topics touched on today are in the show notes. And reviews go a long way towards helping new listeners to find our show. If you have a moment and can leave a rating or review on your podcast player, we'd sure appreciate it. And if you know someone that might be interested in a story we cover, consider sending them the episode. But remember, nothing here should be construed as legal advice because it is certainly not that. Minimum Competence is available at minimumcomp.com and wherever you get your finely crafted podcasts. If you haven't checked out the website in a while, give it a look. There are complete transcripts and resources for each episode and its corresponding segments, as well as an opportunity to receive new episodes in email newsletter form. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, remember, a good laugh is sunshine in the house.